Hey, British Moist Critical here. Before we start, I just want to thank each and every one of you for helping me reach a thousand subscribers. I mean, I was maybe expecting to hit it just before April, but you guys crushed that and I'm very thankful. Hitting this milestone so early has really helped clear my mind and motivate me because all I can think about is if I spend as much time as I can on this channel and refining my work. We could have 5,000 subscribers by July or 10,000 by September. That might be hopeful, but we'll see. I can't wait to see what projects I come up with and how much more we can grow. Like I've said before, feel free to put any requests in the comments. I have a couple major projects in mind, but I'm worried that I'll spend hundreds of hours on a video that no one wants to watch. So let me know what you'd like to see aside from Lethal Company, so that I can have a general idea of what I should be spending my time on. Again, thank you all for a thousand. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in Lethal Company, including cosmetics. And no, not the kind you pay real money for. Which, it's honestly sad I have to clarify that, I mean, jeez, is the state of gaming right now. Anyway, the point is, you can absolutely deck your ship out with the finest decorations known to man. Considering I've already covered most of everything in this game, I thought I'd make a tier list on the cosmetics, the ship decorations and the 5 different suits you can wear. Even though this is a completely subjective tier list, hopefully some people will still be interested in watching it, but I do know one thing for sure. No one's interested in hearing me yapping in this intro, so we should just jump right into it. In F tier, I'm gonna put the welcome mat. The welcome mat is 50 credits and doesn't take up much space, but I mean, it's a mat. It doesn't do anything, it's just a mat. You walk over it, it's a mat. I don't know what you guys want from me, it, it's literally a mat. So of course it's going to be in F tier. Let me know if I'm wrong though, I'm sure there's one guy in the comments that really likes mats. In D tier, we have our first suit, which I think is the worst suit in the game, and that's the hazard suit. Now look, I'm all about safety, and this is a high visibility hazard suit and probably the most practical suit in the game. But who cares? Yellow is ugly, and while it might be the safest suit, you're most likely going to die anyway, so do you really want to die looking like a banana? No, I didn't think so. No, but in all seriousness, it's the only other suit other than the pajamas which isn't just a color reskin of the original. The badge changes to a radioactive hazard symbol, and I could see why people would like this suit. I just don't like the color yellow. D tier. Also in D tier is the shower. The shower costs 180 credits and you can turn the water on or off. It doesn't do much else. There is a misconception that if the ghost girl is haunting you, you can despawn her by taking a shower, but that makes no sense, and the shower has no effect on the ghost girl. It does take up a lot of space on the ship, so if you buy it, it's probably just going to sit in your storage. D tier. Last in D tier is the table. I mean, come on, it's a table. You can put things on it like fancy lamps or other decorations, but other than that, it's just a table. Not that interesting. D tier. Moving on to C tier, I'm going to put the orange suit here. The orange suit is the iconic base game suit, and I like it, but because it's the default skin, I'm automatically going to prefer the rarer suits. Plus, I prefer the other colors over orange. C tier. Also in C tier is the toilet. The toilet costs 150 credits and you can flush it. C tier. Last in C tier is the record player. And I know this might sound like a bad ranking, but don't get me wrong. The record player is a very unique ship decoration as it plays a unique song on loop. But the song gets really annoying really quickly. So I don't find myself buying this, but I could definitely see it in B tier if I had to re-rank it. For now it's going in C tier. Moving on to B tier, I'm going to put the green suit here. The green suit is pretty cool, it's just a colour reskin but it's cheap and a better colour than orange and yellow suits. B tier. Also in B tier is a romantic table. The romantic table is the same price as the record player, but I think it's slightly better. You can turn the candle off and on, and just like the regular table, you can also use it to display items and decorations. B tier. Last in B tier is the goldfish. The goldfish is cheap at only 50 credits and while you can't interact with it in any way, the fish will swim around which is pretty cool. It's a little pet on your ship, why wouldn't you buy it? B tier. Moving on to A tier, I'm going to put the purple suit here. The purple suit is exclusive to the challenge mode, and while it's just a reskin, it's a nicer colour than the other suits in my opinion. Still waiting on the black suit though. Anyway, the purple suit is an A tier suit. 
Also in A tier is the Jack O' Lantern. Hitting the Jack O' Lantern and making him laugh is probably the second most addicting thing in the game. The first is an S tier, but we'll get to that. Anyway, it's a cool little pumpkin that makes a funny noise. It's cheap and it can be spammed. A tier. Moving on to S tier, these are my favourite decorations and cosmetics in the game. Starting with what I think is the best suit. The pyjama suit costs 900 credits, making it the most expensive cosmetic you can buy. But damn does it look nice. It's definitely the most unique suit in the game and its rarity makes it even better. Best suit, S tier. Also in S tier is of course the plushy pyjama man. Everyone loves this little fella. He costs 100 credits and you can squeeze him. What more do you want? I mean look at him in his little pyjamas. S tier, easily. No debate. Moving down S tier is the television. The television is 130 credits and without any mods it has 3 channels. A cartoon of an employee getting killed by lightning, an informative and very useful company training video, and my favourite, Kiddens and Jazz. But if Kiddens and company propaganda isn't enough for you, you can always mod it to something different. Even without mods though, it's a pretty complex decoration with unique and original animations and also Kiddens, so it's going in S tier. And finally, last on the list, is the Cozy Lights. The Cozy Lights are 140 credits and are the only decoration that can actually help you with the game. They provide constant light, meaning that if lightning strikes a ship, you will still be able to see. Apart from that, they are just lights. But pretty cool, not too pricey, and can actually help you, so S tier. And that's the end of the list. I know this one was a little bit shorter than the usual, and this tier list is completely subjective and just my opinion. But I needed to get a video like this out to wind down after the last 40 minute video I did on equipment. There's definitely some big projects coming though, so stay tuned for those. Hey, post editing Tierology here. When I started making this video we were at a thousand subscribers. Now we're nearly at 2000. I can't thank everyone enough for the support. I hope all of you will stick around for the journey. I'm quite busy in real life so don't expect videos to be spammed out, but I'm slowly upgrading my setup and getting better at editing. And while I'm currently addicted to Lethal Company, I want to eventually be able to make big tier list projects like these videos here. I'm also going to be putting out community posts after every video so you guys can put your votes in and make your own tier list. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.